All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's gonna be a different type of video. Today, I'll be showing you guys the best tips to increase FPS, lower input delay, and lower ping. So before we get into this, I wanna give full credit to AdamX. His link will be in the description. If you wanna get a more in-depth guide and explanation, make sure to go subscribe to him and check out his latest video. He explains everything in depth and explains why you should do certain things to increase FPS, lower ping, or lower input delay. And I'm gonna stop wasting your time. If you guys find this video useful, please make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to Adam Max. Also, at the end of the video, I'll be crediting the thumbnail designer for this video, so make sure to check him out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment down any questions you guys have, or if you wanna just comment, make sure to do that. I respond to every single comment, let's go. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. Alrighty boys, so the first step you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna create a system restore point. What this does is, in case anything like uh, malfunctions or anything like that, you guys can just go back to this restore point and you'll be chilling. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go here, we're gonna type in restore, create a restore point right here, go to system protection, all right? Uh, one of these has to be on, one of the drives has to be on, make sure one of these are on, and you're gonna wanna press create. So what I like to do, I like to put the, the date of which I created the restore point. So right here we have 12-6-2020 and simply create and it'll appear like this and once it's done you're done with this step all right once you've done this you're good to go so you're going to want to go to the first link in the description this pack was provided by adam x once again please make sure to check him out first link in the description full credit for everything in this video goes to him so first link make sure to download that pack extract it onto your desktop so you have easy access to it and you're going to want to open it so you're going to be led to this right here these are the five things we're gonna be doing in order to increase FPS, lower ping, and lower input delay. So we're gonna start off with the cleanup. I'm not gonna make this too long, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna wanna double click on this, double click on disable prefetch. You're gonna wanna double click on this and delete all the files in here. All my prefetch files were already deleted, but there's gonna be a bunch of files here for you guys to delete. And right here is a disk cleanup, which basically empties out your disks in order to increase FPS and make sure you guys have a lot of space in your disks. The batch file isn't working. You guys have a text document over here that you guys can follow. Or if you wanna make it easier on you guys, you guys can just go type in here UAC and you're gonna to wanna to lower this all the way down. It is gonna make you guys restart your computer. So make sure to do that before you continue. All right, so once you're done with that, let's just go back here. You're gonna to go to registry tweaks. All right, so with this folder, what you're gonna do is simply double click on disable apps from running in the background. This is gonna simply disable all the apps from running in the background. Now with this one, you're gonna do something different. You're gonna to wanna to left click hold on it and drag it to the power run and then you'll be done with that step and simply click on all these to disable full screen optimizations disable game bar put fortnite on normal priority and do these mm css tweaks once again if you guys do want an in-depth explanation please make sure to go to adam x's video he explains it more in depth i'm simply showing you guys what to do to get the best fps the lowest ping and the lowest input delay now what you're going to do is go to the third folder now here, it depends on what you guys want. You guys can have your Fortnite open while you do this. You're gonna wanna click on each one. See so right here, 16 hex makes it the smoothest. 25 is kind of a balance. 28 gives you the lowest input latency, meaning the lowest input delay. And 26 is kind of like a balance between balance and lowest input delay. I personally have mine on 26. I recommend you guys do the same. Now for the next step, we're gonna wanna go to the ISLC. Right here, you're gonna double click on this. And if this doesn't work, you simply go here, but we already did this step when we went to the UAC and made this all the way down. So right here, you're going to want to open this and it should open something like this. All right. Once you have this open, make sure to go to launch I launch ISLC on user logon. This is going to make sure this runs while your computer starts up because you're going to want this open while your Fortnite's open. Now you're going to want to have the list size at least 1024 MB and for free memory is lower than you're going to want to have the values I have on screen, so let's say you have four gigabytes of RAM, you're gonna wanna have 2048 as the value here. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you're gonna have 8192, and so on and so forth, all the values are listed on the screen. Now, the last step here, you're gonna wanna put 0 0.50 for the wanted timer resolution, and you're gonna click start. Make sure all your settings are similar to mine, except the free memory is lower than, that is according to your PC RAM. Now, we're done here. I forgot one other step in the previous folder. We're gonna go back to the registry tweaks. You're gonna to wanna to go to Windows Defender, enable, disable. Now, this is up to you guys, whether or not you guys wanna disable your Windows Defender. If you guys have an external malware service, you're gonna to wanna to disable it. If not, you're gonna keep it on, but it's your preference. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna to wanna to go to the FIDO folder right here, GPU settings. Now, this is this is according to you guys. Let's say you guys have an NVIDIA GPU. You're gonna open this one and simply 
copy all these settings. You're going to want to go to your desktop, right click, click NVIDIA control panel. It's going to take a little bit to open, but right here, you're going to want to go to manage 3D settings. And here are all the settings. You're going to copy exactly what we have been provided by AdamX right here. And this will help you with the FPS. Now, I already have this on my desktop, but there should be a sixth file right here. It should be something like delete Fortnite config files and app data. Now, before you guys do this, make sure to read this right here. It says the delete Fortnite config files and app data will delete your replay files. So if you need any of them, do not do this step. Once again, if you need your replay files, do not do this step. But if you don't, you can simply drag this onto your desktop. Every time you want to start up Fortnite, before you do that, make sure to do this. You're going to want to run that and you're going to want to apply your settings once you're in the game. Make sure you know you have everything on low and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you guys already know the settings. And yeah, it's going to make your game run at the lowest input delay possible. Now, once you're done with all that, all you have to simply do is restart your computer and you're good to go. Let me know if this guide helped you guys at all. If it did, I'll make sure to make some more in the future. Once again, credit goes to AdamX. Appreciate you, AdamX, for providing us with FPS boosts, lower ping, and lower input delay optimization guides. If you guys want to check them out, first link in the description. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.